Hi this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today I want to talk about a problem that trips up a lot of new Mac users. It's how to switch between the two modes of the top row of your Mac keyboard. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 500 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content. So there are two different problems involving the top row of keys that Mac users face. One is that they want to use keyboard shortcuts in an app that show F1, F2, F3, etc. as the shortcut. But when they press those keys on the keyboard they don't work for that app. In fact they do completely different things. And another problem people have is sometimes they want to use the special functions at the top of the keyboard like pausing music, changing screen brightness and such. And when they try to use those keys they just don't do anything. So what's going on here? Well basically the top row of keys has two different modes. It's kind of like with regular letter keys there's lowercase and uppercase letters. And you hold the shift key down to go from lowercase to uppercase. Just like that the top row has two different things that it does. It can do function keys like F1 or it can do special features like screen brightness. You switch between the two of them using a key, not the shift key, but the FN key which is usually at the bottom left corner of the keyboard though not always. However it can be confusing because the keys can work in the opposite way for different people. So with the shift key not holding it down will always give you lowercase letters. Holding it down will give you uppercase letters. If that were true for the top row of keys the not holding it down would always give you F1 and holding down the FN key would give you lower screen brightness. Now it can work that way but can also work the opposite way because it's all due to a setting in System Preferences. You go to System Preferences, then Keyboard, then click on the Keyboard tab at the top. Now you'll see a checkbox here. Now if this is checked then by default all of these keys are used as the F keys. And if you want to access something like screen brightness or the music playback controls they are the special features you hold the FN key and press one of these keys. However if you uncheck this setting then it works the opposite way. Then by default if you're not holding down the FN key these will work to change brightness, volume, etc. And you hold down the FN key to use them as F1, F2, F3. So which way you have it set is your preference. If you use a lot of apps that use these F keys then you may want to have it set with that checkbox on so that you can use the F keys without having to press the FN key. For instance a lot of Photoshop users may want to use these F keys all the time. However if you rarely ever use apps that use the F keys then you may want to have that checkbox unchecked so that the special features keys, the screen brightness and volume controls, are always the defaults. And if you ever do need to use them as an F key you can hold the FN key down and press the key to do that. Pages, Numbers, and Keynote also use the function keys a lot especially for custom styles. And if you like to set your own keyboard shortcuts the function keys are very handy for that. As most standard apps we use things like Command and then a letter for their standard shortcuts. So using the function keys is a great way to set your own keyboard shortcuts without having too much of a chance of a conflict with an existing keyboard shortcut. Now of course if you have a MacBook Pro with a touch bar then this problem kind of goes away because with a touch bar you always see what it is you're about to press. So you can hold the FN key and you can see the touch bar change so you know exactly what key you're triggering. So you should also note in a lot of tutorials and online documentation you'll see things like press the F1 key or press the F7 key. And now you know those mean the function keys and you need to have your system preferences set appropriately to use those or hold the FN key down to use them. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.